hey guys it is me phoenix we are going to do a general read to see where your energy is please do me a favor like share subscribe hit the bell notification to be notified when i post a new video remember red hearts if you made it through purple hearts if it resonates green hearts if you're working on it yellow hearts if you rock with me got my six meaning i have my back because guess what i have yours all right pulling my microphone down because guess what it is all in the way so let's see i'm gonna pull from the yin and yang uh, oracle deck to see where your energy is look at all these cards that come out i'll pull a few more cards but yeah do me a favor and uh, like share subscribe you guys give me a second i'm in the process of going from one class to another and um yeah i just need a little bit more yeah time when it comes to us coming together as a cohesive unit how about that so we have reflection that comes out i didn't pull the other cards over but yeah yeah reflection water energy balance and closed off i thought another card came out yeah you've distanced yourself we already know that you took time out for yourself and now i think it's time for you to come come out of this situation strong and so yeah you're having a re rebirth this winter you're taking action so that's a good thing you know you're reflecting you're taking action um and uh yeah no more closed off i think i think now everything is balancing out my light cut off well there you have it it didn't want to stay on so yeah as i say balancing off karma justice you know there is things now you know i hate to say karma you know i hate to put that energy out there but sometimes you got to say what it is you know and so that is the energy that i see uh when it comes to this let's pull from the destined love oracle deck uh nostalgia is here memories that comes out uh when it comes to turning over and then the situation deck flies out so that lets you know that we need to talk about that so the rebirth is happening this winter it is winter time so now you feel some type of way about the blessings or the the um you know the past energy or the love the nostalgia here so you're reflecting on it and that's the reason why you or somebody that you've been dealing with is closed off guarded and resisting this energy but i feel like it's you because now you're having balance and the consequences of some of these actions somebody that you loved and somebody that you were waiting for somebody that yeah um yeah it's at hand and so uh yeah somebody because they were dealing with third parties somebody who you probably wanted to marry but the marriage energy comes with you know the third parties and somebody has having to recognize their priorities and them deceiving you or you deceiving yourself because sometimes we put our energy into people who again you know how my my saying goes never really see our worth and now somebody's coming back and trying to see your worth um yeah you close yourself off you stop speaking introverted this to me this card to me says a lot it basically lets me know yeah you're lost cut off block you block somebody you cut them off but this card to me is when you know that that saying when they say when i'm silent you know when i'm talking you know you better listen but when i'm silent you should be wondering what's going on with me that's this introverted card that normally we're introverted normally we are you know always talkative this card came out the lost energy block cut off out of the situation deck but normally that's the energy but now you're moving and somebody wants to compromise or somebody wants you to compromise with the past considering there was third parties and you know their priorities was effed up i'll say that all right and so yeah i just feel like that is the case we're gonna pull tarot and then um yeah i just feel like you know the water signs pisces cancer scorpio even though this is for cancer you know we're coming out you know we're not going with the flow you know you're frozen in this winter time because you're having a rebirth and there's going to be you taking the courage and having beginnings because you reflected on the past this all comes out the same exact way yeah the emperor so if the emperor oh, <laughs> emperor and the high priestess listen you can be stable all you want but we use our intuition to see through the bullshit which causes us anxiety and causes us to realize that we have to the 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 past the nostalgia energy um you know we have to learn to uh let go of the past and not worry about the future and only be in the present moment so the past caused us anxiety and now dealing with the future causes us 
you know, to, to excuse me, the past causes us, causes us pain and dealing with the future causes anxiety. So we're living in the present moment. You're coming out of hermit mode, I feel, so that you can have peace, happiness, and harmonious energy, right? And therefore, with the emperor being here, emperor and high priestess, this is stability. This is you being stable, or this is this person. They could have been stable in their own right, authority, power, and stability, but your intuition, something that can only be understood through experience, yeah, and heartbreak causes you, yeah, to have to feel, yes, to see the struggle for what it is, the Page of Pentacles, and do the work. Look, Page of Pentacles says, never stop learning, because if you think you know everything, you know nothing at all. So you just said, let me go into hermit mode and start working. Let me start working on myself, get out of this hangman energy, and um, yeah, recognize my strengths. And that is what you're doing when it comes to the insecurities that you're going through, if that makes sense. And so, therefore, when it comes to, yeah, the Knight of Swords energy, be tough, be ambitious, know what you want, go after it in single-minded determination. You want love, you want union, you want compassion. And at the same time, you don't want to feel like a fool or you don't want to have to feel like every time you get to this point, you have to distance yourself in order to take a leap for rebirth, which causes insecurities. Page of Swords energy. So you have clarity on where you need to be. The clarity comes with you giving to others wholeheartedly without expecting to receive the same yourself. And it all ends with you, Cancer, being moving forward with confidence. You have to move forward with confidence and stop overthinking about your decisions because your decisions are coming because you know and you have the knowledge to know what's causing you insecurity, sadness. And now you're reflecting on, you know, should you compromise moving forward? Because now you worked on yourself, you know, they're lost now. You, they're lost, but you're not willing to work on them. You're willing to, you know, work on yourself and to say, okay, well, you know, thank you for the lessons. Remember, no man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher, but they were toxic. They were toxic. And, you know, you reinvented yourself. Uh, rescue others involved. You're not rescuing this person anymore. You know, you're not talking. You're not overthinking right now because this is the energy that you were in. Yeah, no more taking risk with this person. No more gambling. No more taking risk. Um, yeah, maybe the commitment, the proposal, because it comes it comes out in here, underneath here, the commitment, the proposal, the marriage, it's off the table for you. It's off the table for you. And so now here it is when it gets to the point that where I had to turn that light down. When it gets to the point to where, you know, you want to see if you should compromise. Mm, you're single. You're back in that energy. Yeah, you had a spiritual awakening. You're back in that energy, divine feminine. Uh, you know, where there's nurturing here, whether you're male or female. You're able to nurture certain situations, but right now you're saying and letting everybody know that you're single. Remember, I told you this card to me. Yeah, the journal. Yeah, you've been keeping notes. You've been writing them. You're not holding on. Remember, don't hold on to the past. Um, Archangel Michael protection prevented from harm. You're prevented from harm and divine intervention. Yeah, the universe has your back. The compromise comes with you either sending strength and healing period to this person because, again, you had to take you had to go through and take notes and also learn from the past in order to let go of the past in order to heal from the past and not to move, you know, not to bring the past into the present moment or into the future. And so I'm not sure if you're ready to compromise for this situation. You just have to make the decision on your own. Does that make sense? So this is the love situation deck that I'm, um, um, shuffling right now you see the card yeah you're back to your gypsy stage you're back to the stage of knowing the unknowable high priestess energy right knowing the unknown unknowable unconventional lifestyles you being a flutterbug you enjoying the exotic mysteries of the world you're back to that you're back to out doing things you're not ready for a relationship now you just want to be single you cut them off because they couldn't understand your worth and so um all around them yeah so here these cards are they're not really reversal cards but i'll take them how they come yeah you didn't set boundaries in the past but now you're setting them um you know boundaries no more enabling feeling used setting healthy boundaries you're setting healthy boundaries in your gypsy state because you realize the toxicity no more taking a risk with people who don't want to see you happy because in the point in the process of you wanting to be a gypsy and in love and everything to another person knowing that you're protected 
And at the time, being willing to compromise, the boundaries were not set. That's why they came in reverse. But this is all happening. Yeah, telepathic. Wait. Oh, shit. How did I get telepathic out of trapped? <laughs> anyway, so trapped. You know, this is how you felt in the reverse, but not anymore. So you're not sure if you're willing to compromise in regards to this situation because, you know, here it is. It's all about you being who you truly and authentically are. Happiness is here. Fit, finding happiness, happy endings, feeling blessed and grateful. You're setting boundaries. No more enabling, feeling used, setting healthy boundaries and trapped. Uh, it says in an unpleasant situation, uh, feeling stuck, cannot escape it. So your best bet is to be single and not to take risk for this person. And that means that the proposal is off the table. Now, the friendship is the friendship off of the table. Hmm, divine intervention again archangel angel michael comes out twice divine intervention present it from uh, excuse me prevent it from harm and protection angels are helping trust the divine plan believe in miracles so miracles and blessings listen the compromise will happen when you realize that you don't have to overthink with this person you don't have to be silent with this person and you don't have to distance yourself every time bullshit happens does that make sense and so therefore that is where you are just sending strength and healing, period. Remember, no man is your enemy, no man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. This person taught you how to uh, really love yourself again and to be your true authentic self and not wait on somebody to make a decision for you. That is where, yeah, no more hangman. Listen, that is where the water energy comes out, and that's the rebirth that this person, um, even though you didn't want to go through, that you went through this winter. You know, really understanding that I'm not going to be in limbo, hangman energy uh, for, yeah, for two of cups, love, love, connection, and a union. So it will happen, but I'm not going to wait until it happens. I'm going to continue to go with the flow and not be around toxicity, devil energy. I'm not going to be in a toxic environment, and I'm not going to, yeah, stop seeing the beauty in myself or stop nurturing myself when it comes to the king of pentacles type energy. I'm not going to do that. And I'm damn sure not going to go have anxiety um, and feel backstabbed based upon me, you know, having courage and going after my desires. And again, to a source, I'm going to trust in myself and be grateful for this experience moving forward. Three of Cups energy, because my belief system has changed. My belief system has changed. And so I'm knowing that I'm, I'm divinely guided. You know, I'm trusting in the divine and I'm not willing to compromise or sacrifice anything else for myself. So I'm not overthinking. I, I'm not going to distance myself from anybody that I feel like or, or silence myself that I feel like I want to have a relationship with. And so until then, again, no risk. No uh, proposals, you know, no offers, no proposals. I'm not accepting anything because when the universe is ready, Archangel Michael or the, the universe in divine timing will send what I need when I need it. And so let's go ahead and pull from the four agreements. And then I'm going to let this energy go. Oh, look, I pulled the wrong cards because I can't see. My microphone is in my face, but there you have it. Um, I'll pull from here since it came out. I haven't used these in a while. I used to use these every day for our daily reads. Possibilities, yeah. So the possibility says focus your attention on what uh, could go right. When you learn to imagine the best case scenario, you get to enjoy the experience twice. So there you have it. The possibilities are endless and you just want peace. So the possibilities are endless. And so that is where you are. I have to stretch to get my cards now. So anyway, let's pull from the four agreements and see which agreements you need to work on. All right. All right. Don't make assumptions. Eliminate the gossip. Listen. Ha. Huh. Making assumptions is a setup for suffering because usually we gossip about, uh, gossip about our assumptions. We make assumptions and believe we are right. Then we defend our assumptions and try to make other, others wrong. So again, you're not compromising with an assumption that you made. The assumptions are you living in the future which will eventually cause anxiety because you want all of these things. You want the commitment. You want an intervention. You want to try to be the intervention for this person. You want to take a risk for these people. You want to nurture these people. But at the end of the day, making assumptions 
causes you to feel backstabbed. It causes you twice, right? Or anxiety. It causes you back to feel backstabbed. It causes you anxiety. It causes you to overthink. And it causes you to doubt yourself. That's the toxic environments that you've been in in the past. And so, again, you're not making assumptions moving forward. That's just where you are. Let's pull from the crystal deck, and then we're going to go ahead and let this energy go. Yeah, I just feel like, yeah, the moonstone comes out. My favorite. Our favorite, right? Anyway, the crown, third eye, and sacral chakra. So the crown chakra, again, your belief system, your belief system. You know, you have to, your spirituality, your selflessness, and the wisdom. The wisdom, high priestess energy, too. Not just your intuition, something that can be un only be understood through experience. The wisdom and your belief system, why you decided to change the way you see things and to move forward knowing that you're divinely guided without overthinking, without questioning, right? And so the third eye chakra, and that's your intuition, your perception, and your understanding. What's understood doesn't have to be explained. If you understand now, it won't have to be explained down the line. You won't have to compromise or feel the need to compromise when it comes to something that you love. You're just simply going to understand that it's toxic, toxic and it'll cause you to feel more pain and anxiety down the line. And your sacral chakra, okay? Your sacral chakra is your emotions, your intimacy, and your confidence. You're taking your power back. You're, 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 you're confident and moving forward. This is the goddess energy, inspiration, and intuition. It says, I allow my true inner self to shine through. Again, I said that. I allow my true inner self to shine through. No compromising. You're being who you are, that gypsy soul. All right? So let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys. Bye-bye.